everyone! Welcome to Astro Reader PH and thanks for dropping by for some astrology. This video is about the astrological updates for the week of December 13th to 19th for all signs. So how are you guys? I hope you've been well. We just got through that solar eclipse and so far it already looks like we have some pretty eventful weeks ahead, including this one. This is kind of typical right before a full moon and especially after a solar eclipse. So you could be buzzing with lots of new activities right now, making plans, charting new courses of action. If you are, then that's good, because this is generally a good time to start things. Now let's go deeper into our updates. We have some void planets starting off the week. Mars is void until December 13, and Mercury is void until December 14. With Mars being void, it's best not to start new activities, because you may not have your desired outcome. It wouldn't be good to start fights as well, because they can get really toxic, or you may not like how it turns out. Some anger issues are possible as well. With Mercury being void, it's best not to deal so much with documents, communication, logistics, or other mental tasks. You could miss something, or the results may not turn out as well as you'd like. There could be a much ado about nothing effect here. The positive side about void planets, as I always say, is that they're great for mindless experimenting. So there could be unexpected breakthroughs or discoveries when planets are void. The important thing is not to have a specific intention because there's a tendency to get unexpected results. Something I missed last week is that Venus is conjunct Pluto. This could translate as a huge expenditure, but it's something that could further a goal. We're talking about Capricorn, of course, so it's usually related to goals, career, reputation, or duties. In our relationships, there could be deeper connections or understandings about career matters, reputation, or duties and responsibilities. Since Pluto is in the mix, some drama or fights could happen, but these events could be transformative. So, if your relationships are strong, then there's no problem. This is kind of important because this is just the first pass. Venus will retrograde around the end of the week, so there's more to this story. But I'll probably make a separate video on that, so watch out for that. Meanwhile, Mercury and Mars will change signs this week. Mars leaves Scorpio and enters Sagittarius on December 13. It stays there until late January. In the past weeks, we've probably felt like we've been in the middle of power plays with authorities or institutions like we had to contend with unknowns. We could have unlocked our hidden strength in the face of powerlessness. This time, we'll learn to fight for what we believe in. So there could be battles of ideologies in the coming days. We could be in heated discussions over what is right or moral or legal. So the courts could have increased activity. Schools will be more active as well. There will probably be more internet arguments, too. Mercury leaves Sagittarius and enters Capricorn on December 14th. It stays until early January, but will return in late January to mid-February due to Mercury retrograde. We'll be busier with career matters, or duties and responsibilities, things we need to do. Our thoughts and activities are more goal-oriented now. When before we were more concerned about theory, now we'll be moving into execution, so we could be applying an idea now and seeing how it manifests into reality. There could be a review of accomplishments for the year. In general, activities can be more bureaucratic than sensible, so there could be more red tape too. If you're a boss or a leader of some sort, you'll probably be busier than your underlings. Next. We have a critical period in the week as the moon conjuncts Uranus and Taurus from December 14 to 17. This will be forming a T-square with Jupiter and Mars, Mars being out of sign. If you've been watching my videos, you know I take T-square seriously. This one is out of sign though so that weakens it a little bit. Anyway, this period will likely be stressful with group activities, networking, or collective challenges and responsibilities. Technology or the internet can be involved. Moon in Taurus will make things feel really slow. So have your patience ready. 
Having good food will help because Taurus loves food after all. We're drawing closer to the full moon in Gemini, so activities are ramping up. This full moon will be on December 18 to 19. This coming full moon is kind of special because it follows a solar eclipse, and full moons tend to conclude things. So we can consider this our formal farewell to the energies of the Gemini solar eclipse of June. Full moons tend to be fulfilling culminations or endings. In Gemini, we'll likely see an overflow of activities relating to documents, communications, logistics, transportation, mental tasks, work, and productivity. So this will be a busy time with lots of communication, writing, and discussion. But these activities will be more related to conclusions or wrapping up. So after this full moon, we'll see less of these busy activities. We are one week closer to the final pass of Saturn square Uranus. As I've said in my videos, this is a restrictive energy that could be responsible for the lockdowns of late. And if you've been feeling stuck or stagnant recently, this coming transit could be the culprit. I made a separate video that goes deep into this transit and its individual effects on the signs, so check that out if you like. Last but not the least, Neptune continues its stationary direct motion. As I've mentioned in past videos, we are on the road to more rest, leisure, and spiritual growth. We could also enjoy art more, and music, movies, and fiction. So more gaming, Netflix, and the like. Booze and drugs are also under Neptune, but I wouldn't suggest going too far on that. I prefer the Neptunian activities of prayer and meditation. But vacations are nice, too, so we could embark on healing journeys as well, to rest our soul from the busy past months. So just keep going and don't forget to nourish your soul. And that's it. Thanks for watching. The astrology updates for the week of December 13 to 19 for all signs. Please like and subscribe if you like this. Thanks. Goodbye.